What's up, my lovely Scorpio family? It's Obsidian Little Cell. I'm here to do the daily for the 17th, 18th of May, 2021. Uh, before we get into it, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, show your love and support. As always, please keep it positive. Um, you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> we don't need to get into that anymore, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, the vibes have been interesting. I've been hearing a lot of messages this morning for you in my meditation, so... Uh, if you'd like a personal, that information is going to be in the description box below. How to reach me, how to make a payment, etc. I'm all caught up on personal, so I think I have one left. Brenda, I got you, boo-boo. Later. Um, so, we're not later on my, this afternoon coming, so it'll be today, this afternoon. Um, and again, uh, guys, keep in mind this is just an energy check-in for the collective of Scorpio. It's not going to 100% resonate with everyone. I love it when it does, but there's so many different en energies in the collective that it does not. So always, I love it when it does. So people let me know, let me know. I love interacting with you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love, uh, connecting with you. So, uh, just keep them positive, right? Uh, All right, so somebody, it's like I've got a lot of different energies coming in right now, all right? So there's the energy of a uh, union here that has not, it's like been blocked for somebody. There's a level of extreme frustration for someone because I think that your eyes are opening up to a situation where you're seeing what's went down. It's like, I feel like you're very intuitive, um, psychic, uh, whatever it is, or, or things are being revealed to you. So it's, uh, whether it was a job opportunity, a lover, whatever happened, um, I do feel like there was, I did have like when I was pulling cards, a lot of air energy too, and having to, um, some can cancer movement though, but I, I pulled the chariot, it was in reverse. Uh, you are moving away from a situation where there was no forward movement period. And it's because you've set boundaries or, um, because your boundaries weren't respected. Um, and I feel like there's things coming to light for you and it's just little by little piece by piece. And honestly, the way that it feels, let me see what this is. Yeah. And it's, it's been emotional. Okay. I feel like you're looking back at, uh, some of the things that went down relationships, friendships, even in situations where you're like, man, really, you know, um, and it's uh, feeling like remembering the good and the bad. But I feel like spirit, it's like the message I'm getting is you're being shown everything exactly in the time that you're supposed to see it. Because if you were given all of the information, being a Scorpio, and trust me, I know this because in my own personal experience, this is how I can say this. If you were given all the information at once, you would have gone ape shit, right? And fucking hurt somebody. Um, and so I feel like it was supposed to come out this way. Um, and interestingly enough, it was also supposed to come out this way because whoever was involved in the situation, right? Um, I feel like in order for this person or these energies or whatever happened, Scorpio, however this resonates energetically in your life, um, however this happened, it was like this person, play, whatever, it's like an energy of something, someone that, uh, it's like they get away with something, so they do it again. They get away with something, so they do it again, right? They keep getting away with shit, so they do it again. It's like, it's like, uh, you know, um, a cheater in a sense, right? So it's somebody that gets away with something, so they do it again, right? This person or person is very ungrounded, very unstable energy. Um, and it needed to happen this way so this person would get caught, is what I heard. Um, and, I, and, I, and I was hearing when I was in the shower this morning, because a lot of times your water signs and I get a lot of heavy, like I've had a lot of heavy emotion um, going on the last couple of days. And it got to a point where yesterday I knew, because I do so many readings for Scorpio and it's a lot of heavy energy, right? We're very intense. Um, I knew some of it was my stuff, but I knew a lot of it this morning. I was like, okay, I got to read for Scorpio because it's the heavy energy, right? It's the heavy energy. There's And there's so many different messages that I'm getting for you right now, right? So, um It feels like I'm standing in the ocean, right? And I'm just trying not to get knocked down by the waves. 
right? Um, or just, it's, it's like, it's how strong, it's like something's trying to like, this force where you didn't create boundaries, right? It was this constant like, there was no forward movement for you. It was this constant like wave crashing down on you. So by removing yourself from this situation, I feel like, or something, there was no forward movement. You've removed yourself from something where there was no forward movement, period, is what I feel like. And where your boundaries were not being respected because somebody kept getting away with some, right? So, so whatever's coming out, I don't know, we're going to get into it, but this is the message I'm getting. Whatever's coming out, it's the energy of somebody is going to get caught up in a situation because they've done something over and over and over again. Whatever it is, whether it's magic, manipulation, lies, cheating, stealing, all right? Um, it's like this person, and it needed to play out this way for this person, so they would eventually get caught. Because I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is too smart for their own good, um, or have been, for some of you. Okay, yeah. This person's going to prison. Justice. Libra energy, air energy, that's fucking crazy. All right, so... Uh, as soon as I say it, right, guys? As soon as I say this is going to be uh, a quick reading. Um, so anyway. Uh, also, be very careful what you're thinking about, okay? So uh, don't get on any timelines as far as, like, creating a lot of fear and worry in your own life. Fear-based thinking, negative thinking. Um, this person, and this could be going on, maybe this person or this energy has already been in trouble. Um or something's going on and they're trying to affect your energy because they're angry about what's going on in their life because somehow it's your fault, right, that they did this fucked up, shitty, horrible thing to you in your life if that happened, right? Whatever's going on, Scorpio, uh, let's get into it. Excuse my language, y'all. You guys know I cuss, but anyway, I just keep hearing, no, 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 let me explain. That's what I was going to say. In the shower, I kept hearing, but wait, no, let me explain. Let me explain. And I feel like this is somebody trying to either talk to law enforcement or, um, I don't know. It's like trying to, this person's been so clever. They think they can talk their way or get out, like manipulate their way out of things, talk their way out of things. This person could have even been tied to people in like the judicial system or manipulated people in certain like whatever they wanted to get away with, right? So it's, it's like this person was very calculated. So your prayers are being answered though in this situation. I feel like, again, I've been seeing 333 all weekend. Um, and then there, this has something to do with authenticity. There could have been a level of fraud here for somebody too because there's handwriting here. Somebody signing some shit they weren't supposed to energy. Um, so that could also have something to do with a situation here in regards to you in a situation. It could be identity theft, fraud, um, but your prayers, like you're being heard, your prayers are being heard. Okay. Destiny, astrology, and then fire and spontaneity. So I feel like with these two coming out too, um, nobody can take your destiny here. Okay. So if it was some sort of identity theft, fraud, or if it was just somebody trying to be you in, 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 in a sense, it's like that single fight, single white female fucking weird energy, right? Um, that I've had in my reading sometimes too. It's like this person, this friend or whatever comes in and it's like they, uh, whatever, hurt people, hurt people, right? So it's no excuse, but it's this energy of something going on and it, this person wanting to basically uh, replace you, be you. Take your destiny. What I mean, it's like, that's crazy, but it's not possible here, I feel like. Um, and then this this fire, okay? Nobody can replace this light within you, your fire, your, your energy, Scorpio. So um, you're coming out of conflict with whatever's been going on, which is very good and very positive. So I'm going to stop talking about that because I'm trying to keep it more positive, right? Oops, sorry. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's see. Here are angels, ancestors, guides. What messages did the romance oracle cards do we have for Scorpio as far as um, love is concerned? Let's pull a card for your love life. 
Y'all, and sometimes I don't know why, it's just like there is a lot that I don't say, you know, and sometimes I'm like, should I say that, should I hold back, and and it's, you know, I get the answers when I'm talking usually with God and, and my, my, my angels, and some of this stuff I, I don't even feel that great talking about now, but it's, it needs to get out because the energy has been very heavy. And so it, it, it's like maybe somebody's put you through a whole lot of pain in the situation or there's been a lot of unjust energy. That's it. It's unjust. It's unfair. There was some, some, it's very, very, somebody's done, was done very, very wrong. Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. So positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. All right. So let's do one more. So stay positive if you're if you're feeling like oh my god I'm never gonna be with anybody I'm 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 I, why am I alone I'm tired of being alone or you know it's just like I feel like spirit is stepping in now and maybe this is what the emotions that you've been going through like all the stuff's gone on and I'm alone and and it's just like pause take a deep breath stay optimistic you gotta stay positive if you want to call in this soulmate because here it is your soulmate's coming in. I just saw 111. It's something you have manifested, right? <laughs> um, but stay positive, okay? You got to stay positive. Allow them to come in. Um, all right, let's get into actual care reading. Spirit angels, ancestors, guys, what messages do we have for my lovely Scorpios today? What messages do we have for my lovely Scorpios today? Also protect us with, we're going to get some good news. I just saw the page of wands. Could be involving something that has to do with a Virgo, hermit energy, or um, children. Friend circle, three of cups, temperance, Sagittarius energy, and being publicly noticed for something, having a, a victory in in front of people in regards to something so again it feels like it's going back to whatever's gone on in this situation for you scorpio it feels like uh not only are you going to get justice in this situation i feel like the situation is going to come out where it's like public public somebody's going to be exposed for everyone to see okay and maybe a lot of people already know i feel like it's an, it's an energy here where people know maybe it's talked about in the town that you live in okay there's judgment bent being called on a situation where you haven't been shown love here in a financial situation coming out, okay? So if it has to do with money here, and because this is your financial energy, uh, this is what's happening. Also, it's the energy, remember where I said there was somebody blocking a union here? There's some sort of judgment here. It could have had to do with money. Six of Pentacles. There's a redistribution of energy going on in your home life. It could be mind, body, and soul because um, that's home, right? It, not only is it your home, your home home, but that's your home, right? So um, with the Six of Pentacles, you could just be in the energy of feeling very giving right now, um, helping. We do have unexpected tower energy coming in, Scorpio, and I felt it recently too. Uh, maybe I feel like this is kind of also the energy that I've been feeling too this weekend that was heavy that was not my own energy um, and then king of wands energy your role in this is like you're feeling very confident very powerful and wanting to take action all right there you're very action oriented right now which is good it's like the energy of you know how to do you, for me it's like the best way to get a Scorpio, especially with someone that is very, to get a, a Scorpio, push a Scorpio into action, you piss them off. And, and it's that quiet action that you gotta watch out for, right? So, look at the lion behind them. Page of Swords. You know somebody's watching. You could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. There might be some kind of action you're taking in regards to this energy. Or wanting to. 
feeling confidence about, and this has something to do possibly with your home, okay? Four of Wands energy. What's the best uh, final outcome? And then we're gonna go through, ooh, all right, and going to come out final outcome about why something has not been moving forward Scorpio for you with the moon card here the light and the dark this energy this crazy energy these secrets with knight of pentacles energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn This is going to be surprising. But you have options here, okay? Um, as far as finances are concerned, all right? So whatever's going on, it's kind of like, mm, I feel like this person's, if there was some kind of energy here plotting or trying to, it's like everything backfired. Everything that this energy has tried to do has backfired. And now this person is this, in this Queen of Pentacles energy in reverse. judgment and the lover's spirit in reverse for finances why was Scorpio shown no love in the situation in regards to money financial work whatever what is this energy on this okay again Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy doesn't necessarily have to be but the Queen of Pentacles in reverse has shown up three times in this reading already somebody very unstable okay and broke as fuck right now because they've been completely unstable. Um, four of Wands. Happy occasions. Four of Wands again. Um, this person isn't happy, so they don't want you to be happy. Jesus. Okay. Um... But this is also the Four of Wands showing up. It could have been Twin Flame interference. It could have been, um, this is the judgment now. Happy occasions. You're happy. This person isn't. Okay. What's the Six of Pentacles energy? Knight of Swords. Three of Swords. So you've been heartbroken here. Okay. Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's redistribution of energy here. You're not moving towards something. You're not making any fast decisions towards anything. Balance. Okay, justice in a situation could be involving a Libra energy. Seven of Pentacles. Faith. Okay, this situation I feel like for you, and it's like redistribution of energy. Maybe it's understanding where to put your energy or focus your energy, whether it's in friends, lovers, work, whatever. Scorpio with the Seven of Pentacles here, it's this energy of redistribution of energy, understanding where you need to put that energy, right? Not investing energy and time into sack, sack, sacks of shit, basically, right? Or... Um, Have faith because seven of pentacles where where you have you're you're in this energy of being able to give okay and maybe this is what is bringing justice and balance into your life um you're coming out of this energy of heartbreak um and the seeds that you've planted here financially are growing okay um what is this unexpected tower energy showing up for scorpio eight of pentacles so uh, opportunities there's going to be some sort of an opportunity that's interesting. The tower coming out with work energy. Five of Pentacles. Emotional withdrawal. So there's 
some kind of tower energy here trying to cause emotional withdrawal to affect your money, basically. I feel like it's this fucking Queen of Pentacles in reverse energy. Um, because you've got the Ace of Cups coming in as well. All right. Um, a lot of love. You're very loved, okay? It's the energy of being very loved here. And... Hmm. This is Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's a boss. The king and mentor. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, masculine energy, Scorpio energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, It's unexpected tower energy, but it's sometimes tower is like, it's good. It's okay. It can be, it can be the change that you need in the situation. Okay. So I feel like for you, there's an opportunity coming in that's unexpected because this is boss. You're going to be full of emotions. It's the ace of cup. It's a blessing from divine. It's the blessings from divine. What is this five of pentacles energy? Why do we have emotional withdrawal going on here though? It's too because it's like you're coming out of this energy of being in limbo. Because the hangman is in reverse. Maybe you've been emotionally withdrawn. I feel like because of a tower situation. But you're coming out of it. Knight of Cups, Dreamer. This is creative energy. You're going to get a creative... There's something here going on. That's, there's a creative opportunity coming in. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. and very. It's very um, emotionally stable. There are a lot of emotions. You're emotionally... Maybe you're being recognized as being very emotionally stable in a tower energy as well. And there's some sort of boss mentor energy watching you. And um, it's this energy of an opportunity coming in that's creative for you. I like it. I did pick that up in another reading for you. All right, what is this Four of Wands, Page of Swords energy, Scorpio? That's way too many. Jesus, that was like half the deck. Okay. <laughs> you don't have time for all that. Page, Page of Swords, Four of Wands. Who's watching your house? The Hierophant in Reverse. The sun in reverse. Am I holding the deck in? Okay. Holding the deck upside down. So we aren't really in reverse. <laughs> could be a Taurus. Um, could be somebody that's married. Leo energy. Taurus energy. The sun. The trail energy. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You're feeling really confident about taking action, though. There's a lot of gratitude in your energy here with the Nine of Pentacles, feeling very comfortable, very um, building this, this energy of I'm okay alone, financial wealth, whatever. This person, somebody's watching you. They feel bitter about the action you've taken. Maybe about it has to do with your home, your home life. And your success with the Six of Wands. Um, could be Sagittarius energy with the Temperance energy as well. But this is also being divinely protected. So, Scorpio, your role in this is like you're being divinely protected. Whatever this is, it's just kind of like let them watch. I feel like, you know, um, obviously watch your back if you've got something weird going on, right? Trust your intuition. But we've got the Ace of Wands, new passion, okay? New inspiration, new love. 
Um, somebody around you could be watching for this. It's like they want to see who, uh, so you've got, it's like uh, this unhappy, ungrounded, unstable energy. And it's like, it's just not fair. It's just not fair. Why did they get a house? Why did they get a boyfriend? Why did they get a husband? It's weird, okay? So I feel like you're being protected from whoever this is. <laughs> Whether it's a friend, a family member. So it's just kind of like, do the work yourself, boo. Do the work yourself. I feel like you understand here. Vigilance, exactly. You're very vigilant in the work that you did. And this is why you're being protected, okay? So I feel like, again, I don't understand why it feels like this person can't take their, their eyes off you. Maturity, they're not very mature. Could have something to do with Aries energy. Ten of Swords and some kind of an ending. Two of Cups, Union. Again, somebody's been trying to block a union for you, but this is the final outcome. It's not going to happen, Scorpio. We've got secrets coming out about why. All right, so however this happens, it's coming in. Let's see. What's the final outcome? Maturity. The Emperor has to do with Aries energy, possibly, or... Um, Four of Swords. There's an energy here of somebody resting after something very hard or putting something to rest. It could be an Aries putting something to a, to, to a rest here or end. Somebody who's been through a whole lot. This is like resting after a battle. Okay, so maybe this is what's bringing it like a secret out here. What is this Two of Cups? Five of Swords, conflict energy, deceptive energy in the world. Okay. Um, this energy only motivated you. Okay. It's like it only, it's again, pissing a Scorpio off sends us into action, right? So again, whatever happened, there was some kind of plan that was unsuccessful. You're finding out about it, basically. And um, there's still some, a level of conflict in the situation. Seven of Cups here. Uh, something isn't what it seems could be involving again you need to take action here for stability the tower scorpio energy what's going on with this tower i gotta hurry up though y'all uh what's going on with this tower for scorpio the empress energy there's a mother here could be somebody with a child baby mama drama recognition somebody wants to be recognized that's it it's like there's some kind of also there's some kind of drama going on here a secret coming out um a conflict about a union because it's like i want to be recognized as the baby mama i had your baby i want to be recognized it's like energy and that could be what's going on here too scorpio for some of you um if your person had a baby with somebody they're no, not with or it was some kind of pregnancy yeah here with secrets coming out the moon um Oh, it's like somebody got pregnant and didn't want to have a baby and somebody wanted to have the baby. And so I feel like it's kind of a situation where somebody had the baby and this other person still doesn't want to have a relationship with this person, but this person wants everybody to know. Knight of Pentacles, Patience, and then Six of Cups. Okay. Um, I feel like for you, there's something in a situation here you need to make a decision about here as far as being generous is concerned here because there's a restricted energy. You're not. It's in reverse. Um, I had to really, and like the message yesterday for me coming across was about patience really strong um, just in my own personal meditation and prayer and working through my own things. And this is coming in for you too. So I feel like this is the energy of the collective. 
there's this level of energy here of, of needing to practice patience or understanding patience and making a di difficult decision. There could be something here involving, remember I said prison here, there could be something here where um, making a different, difficult, situ situa difficult decision and being generous. Um, maybe involving like it's up to you. Maybe there's something that's gone on that you don't know about and it's really up to you whether you're going to send this person to jail or not or prison. Um, yeah, with a nine of cups, good fortune in reverse. So um, either way, this person, it's like they're not going to have good fortune. Whether whether it's kind of like spirit saying, look, uh, even if you don't send them to prison or jail, whatever, if it has something to do with you in a situation like that, they're not going to have good fortune either way, right? So it's like, uh, maybe that's the decision you're going to be kind of faced with here. It's kind of like understanding like the universal law. Maybe there's a series of events going on in this person's life anyway that are just kind of like, it's like there's no, there's not good fortune. Very, very, bur like burdens are piling up, bills are piling up. This person has no freedom, no expansion. Anyway, I'm gonna step out of that. No luck with Ace of Pentacles in reverse. All right, final outcome for Scorpio though. Let me use a different deck really quick and then we're gonna end it because I gotta go. Final outcome, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, ha again, patience, patience, patience. Slow and steady wins the race. Whatever's going on right now, practice as much. If you're being triggered, if you're being bullied, if you're whatever's going on, practice patience. Nine of Pentacles, slow and steady, nine of the deck. Slow and steady wins the race. It's the most successful night. Um, Page of Swords, you are being watched again. Air energy, deceptive energy. Somebody is trying to steal something from someone. It's possibly money, but this has come up twice too. Betrayal. Page of Cups. Stay emotionally grounded, Scorpio. Knight of Wands. Six of Wands. So you're, you're going to have success here with a new beginning. All right. Could be with fire energy. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Or just something that you're very passionate about. Person, place, or thing, job, whatever. Just life. Okay. So stay strong, guys. Lots of love and light. Until next time. Bye.